I do? Morning, you the way that I do. Hey guys, we will be your regular dose of positive vibes online. Please subscribe. What's up, my Bovi Squad? How are you doing? Did you sleep well? I hope so. Guys, welcome to another vlog. Um, we're heading home now, but currently we are in Boracay. Hello, Boracay, Philippines. Yes, gorgeous. White sand beaches. Sadly, we're going to the airport now. We've had an awesome three days here and two nights. And I'm just saying bye to the beach. Um, until next time, not sure when we'll be back in Boracay, but it has been amazing. <gasps> if you haven't seen our last vlog, go check it out. Bye beach, love you. All right. Hi guys! <laughs> Hi guys! Hi Zahiri! Hey Saibs! Hi Tita! Welcome back! <gasps> Welcome back! I'm okay! Yes! You look very well! Thank you! Welcome back! Good morning Mabuhay Squad! It's morning time and my aunt and Ate Elsie are heading to church. <laughs> Good morning! What? Inconvenient? Yeah, I, I ask, we ask the driver. Oh, no you can. Yeah, just ask ask the, the driver to drive you. Huh? Not inconvenient, no. Okay. So Enjoy go. mass. So, those of you who are new to the vlogs, this is my tita, my aunt, my mom's sister. And she came and moved in with us for most of our life. So she's like my second mom. And every day we would pray because of her. We would say the rosary every day. I went to church every day. Well, in high school, I went to church every day. Bye, enjoy. Basically, it was very religious. So, Tita, how was church? Oh, uh, it, it was, uh, there were a few people there. Was it okay? In the church, my key is not finished yet. It has no walls. So oh. I hope you donated. We will. Church. Yeah. Yeah, on your birthday. Guys, it's my Tita's birthday in April next month on your birthday we'll donate on your behalf, <laughs> on my behalf? yeah what is this it's you, it's oh it's guys we no, received kind of rice, my rice from tissues. henry and isabel farms family wow awesome thank you so much henry and that isabel is farms family tissues. yes it's like dark rice yeah. oh, we, we have oh to there's a little hole a yeah we need to put in a container Ooh, different kinds. Yeah. Red rice, black rice. What's rangayan Every rice? Every day you should eat brown rice. It's yeah. more nutritious than the white. Yeah, it is. I just gave my tita some lion's mane extract. It's yeah, a mushroom. Here. Yeah, did, did you like the taste? This, yeah, it's like wine. It tastes like wine. It tastes like brandy. It's bitter. And this is mushroom. It's a mushroom, yeah. Yeah. I wish but we could grow it. You can, it's sold everywhere. I will buy in Canada for myself. Yeah, and then also, you know what it's what good else? for you? Ginkgo biloba for the brain too. Oh, and also, don't you need this? Organic ashwagandha. Oh, yeah, that's for aging. Is it? Yeah, oh. good for aging. I take this too. Yeah. I learned that in... Ayurveda? Yeah. It's so bitter. Yeah, but never mind. That's not only even for immune system. Oh. I wish we could have this in its pure form. You know what I mean? Oh, like this. Because it's dried, it's different. The plant itself, yeah. The herb itself. Isn't it much better to have it in the there, pure there form? There might be herbs, plants. Like, I, I wonder if we can Certainly order spores idea. of this lion's mane and like grow it. That would be better, right, my Buhai squad? Three. Yes, I'll take a picture of all three. Oh, I like Ashwagandha also. I learned that in Ayurveda. Okay. One. Why am I doing a countdown? It's not like they're gonna pose. Okay. Yeah, I'm wow. sure there is in. Yeah. There. Oh, are you sure there is in Canada? There has to be, yes. Ginkgo biloba. This is for memory. This increases circulation, really? which is why it's good for the brain. Wow. Yeah. 
And if you drink coffee, coffee shrinks the arteries, but this will dilate the arteries, so your brain gets more oxygen. But this will increase your circulation. You take once a one day. One capsule a day. Yeah. It, no matter uh, what time it is. Uh, yeah, I take it in the morning. Okay, but not together with coffee. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> no, not with Ashwagandha coffee, probably. Ashwagandha anytime. Ashwagandha anytime. I have it in yeah, the morning. I'm familiar with And that. then this twice a day. Yeah, I will. this is... I Two squirts this a day. Also. Yeah, lion's mane. Guys, I like study health and fitness so much. I have uh, I have a couple podcasts that I watch regarding health and fitness and the latest studies and all of this. Because, I don't know, I've become obsessed, guys, with health and fitness. I actually just got back from the gym and I feel great. And, yeah, mushrooms, guys, is a new thing. Like, this lion's mane is supposed to be super good for the brain helps like it supports the growth of new neurons um in the brain which is great i need it i hit like i try to look for things that support brain because i need it for my work i need it for creativity i need it for video editing right like i have to be super hyper focused and present and the work i do for my channel this too this vlogging channel but for ants canada my other channel I really need to be attentive for hours and hours and hours. Often on Saturdays, I wake up at 3 a.m. or 4 a.m. and I edit all the way till nighttime, till like 10, 11, sometimes midnight. And in, that, in all of those hours, that straight editing session, I need to be on top of the game mentally. <laughs> Otherwise, it doesn't work. It's not like one of those mindless games. Like back when I used to work in an office, it was so easy. I could like just be on my computer and data entry and all of this. I didn't need to, to be present. I could be half present, but daydreaming about, you know, one day I'm gonna live on a farm, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like scanning papers and faxing and all of that. Um, it's not like that. <clears throat> the work on YouTube, um, for a lot of us YouTubers, involves like literally hyper focus. You gotta be present. And you need to, like, really pay attention. You can't be upset-minded. Um, especially, like, any work that requires creativity, a lot of times you have to... Your brain needs to be at its peak. So, anyways, I've just been obsessed with brain support. Here's Melody. Look at her sleeping. Hi, Melody. Good morning. Good morning. Did you do the night shift? Did you find anything, any creatures at night? Did you kill them? Hmm? Yeah. Guys, this is Melody, our farm cat. Just the background on her. We first saw her roaming our home during the construction of our house. Literally, it was just like foundations, no windows, nothing. Not even a floor. It was a dirt concrete floor and dust everywhere. She was living in our home. She was one of the stray cats that roamed the area. And I remember watching her like climb the stairs, hop around, you know, <laughs> flirt with the workers. And then um, just over time, we fell in love with her. Unlike the other street cats, she wasn't afraid of people. Like the other street cats that roam around our neighborhood, they run away from people. But Melody here did not. And then so we eventually adopted her and... We started feeding her cat food. We took her to the vet. She's had all her shots. She's been spayed because for those of you who remember last year, she had kittens, which was a surprise. And then on the second day, the kittens had died. Um, two were missing, I think. And like a couple of them had their jugulars eaten out. It was crazy. We weren't sure who had killed the kittens. Some of you suspected it was Melody herself who killed the kittens because it was her first litter, but we decided, you know what, we should, we should spay her so she doesn't have any more kittens. And she's great. She just walks around the property and loves people and she kills random vermin, I'm assuming. I'm assuming she catches mice and stuff. I have never, ever, not once, seen a mouse or a rat here. And that's a surprise, because moving out here in the farmhouse, I thought we would see a ton of rats. I thought we would have to invest in all of these, like, you know, 
humane mouse traps, but no. No mice, no rats. And I'm assuming it's because of her. Thanks, Melody. Sorry, I didn't mean to wake you up. Go back to sleep. Oh my gosh, guys. Speaking of killing vermin, Sahara here killed this huge wolf spider. Massive. Oh, it's still kind of alive. Oh. Poor spider. I'll feed it to my ants, I guess. Wait, is this a wolf spider? It could be a huntsman. I think it's a huntsman, guys. It's a young huntsman spider. Hi, Sifes. This is Cypher. Recently turned four years old. Our pandemic dog. Yes, hi, Sifes. Their fur is starting to grow back. Um, for those of you who are new, Cypher is a Chorky. Sahara as well, his sister. They're actually bee Chorkies, so part Bichon Frise, which is why they're white. And the fur is long and hairy and shaggy, but soft and silky like a Yorkie. Um, and, they're, and they're the size of a Chihuahua. <laughs> So cute, Zeiss, you're so cute. So guys, I'm here outside checking out the plants and I'm so excited because look at this. Do you guys see this plant? This here is a true vining plant. I don't know how it like started to grow here. Where did it, oh, okay, it started in the soil. But this is a true vine, which means it will continue climbing all the way up this tree and then eventually will string through the branches and we'll have like hanging vines in this tree. Isn't that cool? This is actually growing in my vivarium, so I recognize it. It's always been my dream to have massive, giant bird's nest fern. Look at how big these guys have gotten. See, they were planted here, when did we start planting? Last year in January or before that? And they have grown so much, they're so big. Like, look at that. See? Massive. Even up in the tree. Look. See how big they are? And they've been doing so well up here over time. Love, love, love to see these epiphytes growing. My dream bird's nest ferns. Even over here, look. <gasps> see how big? They're huge. They're doing so well here. Now bird's nest ferns cannot be in direct sunlight for too long otherwise they dry up and they die they kind of need like medium light like they can direct sunlight can hit them but not for too long they kind of need a shady area or partial sun to do well they can either grow in the ground like these here or they can grow without soil um, epiphytically in trees like that love that so much I'm also in love with this this gigantum look at how big it is it's doing so well here. I think it'll need some rabbit poo soon, some fertilizer, which we will put into the pot here. And it's just stunning how well it's done here. Look at the pool today. Oh, it's awesome. I'm gonna be swimming later. Um, it's currently a Wednesday. So it's the day that I really start to work for the next Ants Canada video. Although I have already been working since yesterday yeah so i get to chill a little bit today but also work we got some leaves to scoop out here but look at that oh and guys it's summer it's march which means summertime in the philippines um so this water is like pretty warm oh, i'm gonna love to swim in here yay but of course with summer comes the shriveling up of the forest see it not as lush as it is during rainy season and during the cooler parts of the year. But hey, these are the Philippine seasons. I am not complaining. I love summer here in the Philippines. It is so hot. Love, love, love. And I got quite the tan in Boracay. I'm nice and dark. You know, after I sit out in the sun, um, th I felt this during Mexico. When we went to Mexico and I was sitting out in the sun, I got nice and dark. The next couple of days, I feel great. My mood is... My mood is awesome. My mind is sharper. I think the vitamin D blast from like sitting out in the sun is amazing. It's good. Um, and based on studies, or based on like podcasts I've been watching, skin cancer, though it does exist, um, is not as common as everybody feared. You know, like sitting out in the sun, people were like, you're gonna get skin cancer. There are 
I guess, opinions and uh, informed opinions saying that that, I guess, myth that sitting out in the sun will cause skin cancer was perpetrated by the ultraviolet lotion uh, industry. I don't know, allegedly, so I don't know. But, but based on my experience, I don't know if it's because I'm naturally moreno, like a brown skin person, but sitting out in the sun has only been good for, for me. I, I like it. In fact, I will sit out in the sun when I go on vacation for days, for hours, like, like a 12 hour job. Right in the morning, sit out in the sun by the beach, and then by night, that's when I'm done. And I get really dark, and like I feel great. Um, the body has natural methods of destroying cancerous cells, damaged cells. Uh, so, I don't know. Um, of course, I do know there are people like RJ, who if he were to sit in the sun, he would burn. He's so light-skinned. <laughs> he would burn and it would hurt. And, you know, a lot of my Canadian friends, my Caucasian friends, are the same. Like, if they sit out in the sun and they're not the freckling type, they will burn. It hurts. So I don't recommend it for everybody, but I just love sitting out in the sun. I, it, for me, it, it, I feel the difference the days after, the positive difference. And people are always like, wear sunscreen. It'll cause your face to wrinkle, which I'm sure has some merit to it. But I mean, I'm not that wrinkly <laughs> and I love being out in the sun. I'm 42 guys. Okay, RJ wanted me to look at something here at the Pinoy Chalet. Let's look. He says to go in the back. This here, by the way, guys, is our Pinoy Chalet. It's multi-purpose. Um, oh, wow. RJ added curtains. Oh, it look, this changes things. Look at that, guys. Isn't that beautiful? <gasps> so nice. So we envisioned this area. It's also smart, by the way. See, it's got smart system. Alexa's there. Hi Alexa, and it's really elegant. It was inspired by when RJ and I stayed at Sonia's garden during the pandemic. Um, so we wanted to build something kind of Pinoy-ish. Here we can have massages, we can eat, we can hang out, we can even turn this into a bedroom. It's got air conditioning. Uh, it's just an extra space, We multi-purpose use. Um, RJ and I will one day stay here, kind of like Filipino style glamping for those who wanted the more Filipino experience, you know, just with these cuppy shell windows. See, it's just very, very comfortable and organic. Different feels. But he wanted me to see this area. What is special about this area? Oh, he had this area cleared. Okay, there's still some garbage that needs to be cleared. Oh, I see, even there. Okay, so basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna build stairs from maybe down there, going down into this dried up creek bed. When it's not rainy season, there isn't a creek that runs through here. It's dry, you see? It's a very dry sort of cut out path. And then when it rains, all the water goes down that way. Um, and it's only shin height, it's only shin deep. It's not an actual creek. There are no fish or anything like that. Um, it's just kind of like a waterway. But we've been wanting to like create a path from, I guess it'll be from our side property going here. Maybe from this balcony going down as well. We'll see. I think that'll be great. There's the forest, beautiful forest. Very vast forest. Remember that vlog when we went through there with our friend Joshua man we got lost in there that's a it's a thick forest but that's cool that we'll be able to walk down there easily now bring our guests into here if they want access into these woods oh my gosh guys look see those huge bumblebees yay <gasps> we've got pollinators like native bumblebees and guys they're huge these bumblebees they're massive I love that as soon as summer hits, a new profile of animals start to become active. This here is our bougainvillea wall. And guys, speaking of coming into season, the bougainvillea is starting to bloom again. See, 
Look at these beautiful colors all the way across. Gorgeous, gorgeous colors. <gasps> oh, and look, butterflies, see? Gorgeous, see it? Gorgeous butterflies going around. Whoa! Hi there, buddy. Beautiful. Love, love the bougainvillea, see? Oh, it's so gorgeous. Like when this is in full bloom, all of this is just one beautiful, it's almost like a natural painting actually, with all the different colors that show up. Just stunning. I love this bougainvillea wall. Look at this desert rose. Gorgeous. It kind of reminds me of a mini um, Kalachuchi, which is Plumeria. See, it's like a miniature Plumeria, but it's called Desert Rose. This here is our herb garden. My goodness, guys. Look, look at this dill. <laughs> There's so much, and we cut from this pretty much every day. We'll use it, we'll stick it into our fish when we're cooking fish, everything. It grows so profusely, look. And then here's our basil, our mint, you know, rosemary. It comes to show you that when it comes to herbs, you don't really need that much space to grow your own herbs. I mean, you just need pots and like good sunlight, but that's great. Happy to see our herb garden doing so well. I need to start drinking more tea because I, we could just, grab bunches of this and the rosemary too, put it in boiling water and that's good enough. Here on the animal and farming side, I wonder when we're gonna start. I think we're waiting for my mom to come from Toronto. She's coming in May um, because she's gonna wanna definitely work on this. This will be her project for the two months that she's here. <gasps> there are the parrots. Hi guys, how you doing? Good morning. Here are the iguanas. Let's hop in the pen. How are you guys doing? So these are all adopted iguanas. Oops. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not gonna hurt you. This here is Adam up there. This is Magnus. Hi, Magnus. Our blue iguana. And then this here is Eve. Hi, Eve. Don't mean to disturb you. I believe Eve ha may have laid eggs. She's not as fat as she used to be. I could be wrong. I think she laid them in here, but we'll see. Also, uh, one of you, Mabuhai Squad, has offered to give us red iguanas. A red iguana? Or, I don't know, I'm not sure, but... Um, so, our iguana family will slowly get bigger. As some of you guys know already, ever since we started this farm side, and, you know, these vlogs started to gain more traction and viewership, every day we've been receiving offers for animals, like needing homes, and I wish we would, could take them all, but we, like some of them, I can't, like legally cannot. For example, um, we were recently offered a monkey. And as much as I would love to take in a monkey, first of all, my team is not qualified to keep a monkey. I don't have experience with keeping monkeys. I've had experience with parrots, with iguanas, um, even chickens, but not monkeys. And again, I'm, I don't, I can't legally keep one. I don't have the paper, the papers for those monkeys. Um, and I just can't, they, they don't make good pets either. Um, but we'll see, maybe one day I'll be able to get some advice from my friend who owns a zoo. You guys know him, Mario, who gave us our two, igu two of the iguanas and a couple of our dogs. Um, I'll ask him his opinion and get his guidance if we ever do have to rescue a monkey so we could like, you know, also file the proper paperwork so that we could properly take care of this monkey. Oh my gosh guys, the chick is getting so big. Look at him or her. Okay, they're dust bathing now, these chickens. They love doing that, but that chick is getting big. I see wing feathers, like legit wing feathers now. Um, as mentioned in the last vlog, we lost the other chick due to fire ants, which is sad. Um, so I think now when the chicks hatch, what we're going to do is separate the chicks and raise them separately. Hey, leave him alone, that chick. That's the rooster. That's not nice. Um, but what's cool is these two, hen these two hens here have been cooperatively raising the chick. 
They've even, they even took turns like sitting on the egg to incubate it. In terms of those eggs, no one has been sitting on them. I don't think they're fertile. I think they're duds, guys. We, we're gonna have to throw them away. Well, hi there, guys. On our neighboring lot, I guess someone who owns a couple cows are grazing their cows on this neighboring lot. Hi there. Oh, I'd love to have a cow. So here in the Philippines, people don't, like owners of cows, they don't keep them in a barn like they do in North America. They just kind of tie them to a tree and then let them graze on like random people's properties that don't have a house. <laughs> um, if we walk around this entire neighborhood on all of the empty lots, um, which may or may not be owned, there are cows. People will bring the, their cows to those empty lots to eat the grass. Um, just like this. RJ and I have been talking about possibly owning a cow. We would get it young, obviously. Um, but I mean, the only thing we would use it for really is for their poo as fertilizer. I don't think I could kill a cow. Although I do love beef. Hi there. You're so cute. And they're so beautiful, these animals. This cow is really well fed, whoever owns this cow. Um, some cows that I see here in the Philippines are so skinny. It's really sad. They could have parasites. There could be a whole list of reasons why cows don't do well or aren't, are too skinny. But these cows seem to be pretty well fed. The birds are bathing. They're so cute. <laughs> They're so cute. Oh, I love watching the birds bathe. This is a dream. Guys, we're eating sourdough bread, toasted, with um, organic uh, cream cheese. Um, so it's got probiotics in it. And I mean, sourdough is, they say it's probiotic too. How do you like it? Oh, very delicious, Michael. Yeah. Not only nutritious, also delicious. Delicious, yeah. It's so good, I have this every day. And I'm, RJ and I are obsessed with sourdough now. OMG guys, RJ just got back from Tagaytay buying more plants. We've got orchids here, telangias, which I'm gonna add to my vivarium, and some beautiful, beautiful flowers. Oh, wow, look at these vases. where did you get these vases? Beautiful, these were in storage and we busted them out. Oh, really, we're putting orchids here? Oh wait, what is this? This is a cutting of a flower. Wow, mm, I can smell these lilies, these After plants here. Plant oh, it's such a strong scent. After we'll plant it, so oh good, it's, uh, acacia, these are acacia. in the acacia. Right, and where like vines are now thriving, by the way. Wow, beautiful flowers. <gasps> Look, look at the lilies. Mm. I love these. These are hanging orchids, see? They attach also epiphytically. Most, a lot of orchids are epiphytes. Like they literally grow on the sides of trees and rocks and stuff. They don't grow in soil. But this is, this is RJ's thing. This is his joy. Creating these tablescapes and centerpieces of flowers and stuff. Because guys, as I mentioned before, in the last vlog, I have someone from my past coming to visit here. My very important past. A very key moment in my life, um, or period, I should say, of my life. Um, a very formative period of my life. Um, someone from that time, who means a lot to me, is coming here. And I've never actually like seen him or hung out with him for I think, guys, it's been 24 years or something like that. 24, 23, 22 years, something like that. I haven't seen this person. So this is gonna be crazy. Um, it'll be a blast from the past and I think it'll be really fun. And he's really interesting and a really cool character. I can't wait for you guys to meet him. Mmm, the whole house smells so good. What is that? Yeah, for your collection. Oh, you give this? Oh, thank you. Collection. Godiva, wow. I don't know who gave that to me. These are all. Oh, this is a repurposed gift. Uh, <laughs> Someone gave you that? I'm thank you. Them. Thank I you. never used this. Oh, thank you. Wow, this tea. Was, this was a Christmas gift of Tita Baby and Tito Joe years back. Oh, <laughs> Tito Joe and Tita Baby I'm, might watch this yeah, vlog. Yeah, I'm 
Okay. Yeah, thank you, Tito Baby and Tito Joe. Okay. okay. Thank you. That'll be great. Tito Baby comes here to see And guys, the whole house smells so good because we are pulling out jackfruit. Mm, it smells so good. You guys know jackfruit? It's this huge, humongous fruit with skin that looks like this. It's like spiky, see? And then you have to like remove it, but you need gloves because it's so sticky. It's like got this sticky sort of waxy substance. And then you remove the pit, the seeds, which actually can be cooked or planted. And then, yeah, that's the fruit. And it tastes so good. Wait, I need a fork. It's so healthy, guys. Mmm, mmm, so good. Mm, mm, mm. Growing up in Toronto, Canada. Oops! Oh no! Oh my gosh, Tita says it could still be washed. Yeah, Five second rule. Okay, it's okay. I need this the bacteria anyway for my gut. He'll wash it. Okay. He's going to eat it. Anyway, as I was saying, in Toronto, I couldn't eat it fresh from the fruit like that. We always had it in a can. And it was like with syrup, with sugar syrup. Um, so it, it was sweet and it was delicious. I loved it. But I love it this way, like the natural way. Oh, it's just something else. Awesome. Now, if I get sick, you'll know why. But no, our floors are, our floors are clean. All right. Because that would have been a sad waste. All right, guys. Let's eat it. Look, look at how soft it is. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. We have to grow jackfruit here. It takes a long time, guys. You plant a tree, and I think it takes like 10 years, 5 to 10 years, to, for the tree to actually grow fruit. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. We got watermelon, see? Papaya. Oh, is that sinkamas? This is sinkamas. What is that? What's sinkamas? Radish? Turnip? And then this, guys, you know this? This is guyabano. It's, it's called soursop um, in English. We've tasted it in Mexico. So I know they have this in other tropical countries too, but it's really good. Mmm. Feet flavored jackfruit. Mmm. <laughs> My feet taste delicious. Oh, wow. Look at this, guys. Beautiful. A blast of purple. It's the first time I've seen this color in our living room, and it really works. Looks really quite nice. Right, Cypher? Doesn't it look nice? So pretty. Ooh, Pita made salad. Thank you. I'm excited. Mm, guys, this salad was great. So good. Finished it. Also had some pampano fish and brown rice. Also having some kombucha with coconut water mixed together. It tastes so delicious, like the best ginger ale. However, it's healthy because, well, coconut water, very healthy. Lots of minerals and lots of um, electrolytes. This is nature's Gatorade coconut water. Um, and there are no additives in this brand. And then of course, kombucha, my favorite. We are soon gonna be making our own kombucha. Yay, can't wait for that. Together, if you mix it, it tastes like ginger ale, so good. We have some guests coming, Sahara. You be on your best behavior, okay? Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, they're here. Are they here? Oh, they're coming. Okay, they pulled in. Guys, this is from high school days. This is Tristan Taralba. 25 years. It's yeah, it's crazy. been so long. He is from my old boy band singing group in high school. Oh. I'm gonna show you guys a photo later. Oh my god. Oh my god. A photo? He showed me in the car. OMG. Okay, yeah. and would you like to introduce Christine here? Oh, Christine here. Yeah. Was my girlfriend. Unfortunately, she's no longer my girlfriend. Oh. Yeah, it sucks. But she's my fiance now. Oh, congratulations. I just got goosebumps. Wow, congratulations, guys. Thank you. And you, he proposed to you where? Here in the Philippines? Yes, in Bacolod. Wow. In front of my entire family. Oh my goodness. So the neighborhood we live in, actually the neighborhood my grandparents are in, 90% of the people there is my family. Wow. Yeah. Tris, so you're the man. Let me see it. Oh my gosh, it's a rock. 
or so, I'm blinded by the light. <laughs> so I was supposed to record, well, I, I was recording it and I had a mic that I was supposed to put on. Yeah. So they said, later on you could hear my, my voice. But I was he so forgot. nervous that I forgot to even put it on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so so you can't, it that. wasn't recorded. It's okay. Yeah, it's it's alright. Well, it's in your memory. You know what though? And it means more. I, so I had a dress on and because it was a family reunion, we had like t-shirts. Like orange, bright orange t-shirts. And I had it on. So what he wanted was for me not to have the t-shirt. <laughs> but it was so perfect because I was sweaty. I was like... You know, so I was already starting to cry, and Aww. I was wearing that shirt, and it was like the most perfect time, I guess. <laughs> it's, but I didn't look the prettiest. But it's also, okay. It's time. okay. <laughs> it's more real. It was like the it, most perfect time. Wonderful. Okay, wait. It let's is. do a background. You were born in the Philippines, yes. but you migrated to Toronto, Canada at age five. Just before five. Just before five. Yeah. So you pretty much grew up in Canada. Yes. Okay, and how often do you come home in the Philippines? Um, uh, the last time I came was like 10 years ago. Wow, it's been a while. Yeah. Awesome. Well, welcome back home. Thank you. <laughs> and Tris, this what's is up, your first up, time up. as a, first time ever. First time ever, I've never been to the Philippines. And what's your impression? Okay, I think one word will sum it up. It's very humbling. Humbling. To be here. Yeah. Awesome. And why, why would you say that? Um, I think it's because in Canada and Toronto, we live such a fast paced, like, kind of like rat race kind of life. Yes. And here, people are happy just, you know, being with their families, sitting on the corner, mm -hmm. you know, reading a newspaper or... It's a different culture. It's definitely a different um, vibe and a different way of living. Yeah. And, you know, I was thinking about this in the on the car ride. Like, w people don't have better or worse lives they just have different lives different lives and yeah. a different way to kind of live that's right and it's kind of a cool thing to see the pace of living here it's different bro yeah <laughs> I, different. I, I, I know I, this. I, the, I think the too. grass is greener because like you know her cousins are from here and they want they want to experience like the faster paced life yes the more like luxury people here want to go over to north exactly. america it's not that great guys. <laughs> But the don't say that. The Philippines are just more fun. <laughs> no, it, no, I'm just saying, it's like, cost of living is so In high. Toronto, it is In high. Toronto? I know this. Because I look at our grocery bill when we're down there. I'm like, damn, mommy, you pay this much all the time? Yeah, it's, it's so high. It's, it's crazy. But then, like, when you flip it around, like, we want a slower pace life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But we can't because we're always trying to chase, chase, chase. Yep. So, yeah. it's just a cool kind of... Um, juxtaposition. I yeah, guess. yeah, you're yeah. right. You're right. People want to go down there, and people there want to come to this. The grass is always yeah. greener. Yeah, that's right. Grass yeah. is always greener on the other side. But right. welcome to the homeland. Thank you. To I'm the motherland. Buy a condo here one time. Good. We are. Maybe in the next few years. Okay. Oh, we awesome. Want to. You must. So now you have an excuse to always come back. Exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. and we'll be bugging Mikey all the time. So. Yeah. Well, this is your second <laughs> home now. You're always welcome baby, here. Baby. Okay, guys, we're just hanging here poolside. What's up? And we're looking at the ring. We're admiring the ring. Oh, my precious. So... Okay, so something special about this ring. So you'll see that there... What is this, an amethyst? There's I love amethyst. Amethyst on both sides. <gasps> oh, it's my favorite stone. Well, my birthday is in August. So, oh, so... So it's not my birthstone. Oh, what's your birth? What's it's, what is your birthstone? Yeah, but it's like a light green. He decided to. Okay, actually, you know what? Let Tris explain it because he's such a sap. <laughs> okay, go okay. explain the sapphire. So, the the amethyst on each side. The amethyst. So, so my. Yeah. So so Christine always talks about her mom so highly and how, you know, it was only her and her mom and her sister growing up, and her mom was like her mom and her dad. She had to like play mm. both roles. So that's her mom's birthstone. Oh. And I put it at the bottom of the of the the stones. Yeah. Oh. As, as like a so she's the foundation of who Christina is. Oh, I love that. I it's know, so right? it's so perfectly thought out. <laughs> I try, I try. I Good try. job, Tris. Thanks, man. He didn't he didn't I just love... buy this. He made it. I love that. <laughs> well, it was that, made that was my hands. Yeah, but I mean, it, it was, was custom he built. Did. Yeah, he designed it. That's amazing. And Tris, you're you work in real estate, right? I do, I do, I do. Yeah. 
So if people need to avail of your services, yeah. where can they find you? So you can follow me on Instagram yep. at the Momentous Group. At the Momentous yeah. Group. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. He's been working in real estate for how many years in Toronto? Uh, almost six years now. That's yeah. amazing. So it's, it's really fun. Um, if you guys ever need help or just some advice, give me a call. Awesome. <laughs> Great. And I love that ring. Thank you. You're glowing. You guys walked through glowing. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's the pool lights. Yeah. <laughs> it has guys, done. he just asked me if I remember the first song we ever sang together. I don't think you remember this, but I do. <laughs> so it was me, you, and Teddy. Yeah, before Jazz, his brother, jazz. who was also in the singing group, in the boy band. Yeah. Okay, so, so can I, wait, can no, I first ahead, guess yeah, yeah. The, the artist? Sure, 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 go ahead. First song, was it, was it Backstreet Boys? No. Shoot, okay, it couldn't have been in sync. No. Okay, wait, was it, was it an R&B group? No, it was a pop, it was a pop group. Oh, it was? Four members. <laughs> Four members? That's how you know Mikey's getting old. I don't remember. <laughs> we so, okay. so it's, a, it's a group that actually is, um, it's a number. It's a number? Ah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, part was, of it's a number. 98 Degrees? 98 Degrees. Oh my gosh, okay, wait. What song of 98 Degrees? That <laughs> what? I do no, cherish. Oh, it no. wasn't that. <laughs> Wait, let me think. Was it a Christmas song? No. Damn. That's a good song, though. I know it's not. Yeah, video. I loved the Christmas song. This oh my gift. gosh, guys! I cannot believe I don't remember this. This gift? Yeah, that was the Christmas. You know song. why? Because it's the hardest thing to remember. <gasps> it's the <laughs> hardest thing I ever. It's the hardest thing I ever had to do. Yeah. That was the first song we ever sang yeah. as a singing group. Do you remember where we met? We met at um. It was like a not a family party. Was, I forget where it was. It was at someone's house. I forget whose house it was. It must have been. But Gia, Gia was there. Gia. Okay, guys. Gia this there. is this Gia. Is a throwback. This is a throwback. Gio was my very first girlfriend yes. at the time who yes. I was dating yeah. when I met them. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Was, Kiersey was in the group still. Kiersey. Yes. Kiersey Ragozo. Shout out Kiersey. Shout out Kiersey. Doing, He's another uh, Filipino Canadian um, and super talented Amazing. Artist. Amazing. Yeah. So musically inclined. He actually was the music director of Prison Dancer, the musical recently oh. in Winnipeg. Um, so hi, Kiersey. Uh, but okay, so we sang that. Yeah, that was the first it's song. It's the hardest thing I ever had to yeah. do. Oh my god, random we, song. <laughs> do you still sing? I try to sing. Oh, good. Yeah. Good. We'll we'll, we'll sing think, something he later. He yeah, we will. <laughs> yeah, I haven't vocalized in so long. It's okay. Sometimes I forget that I sing. It's okay. Yeah, we will. We're we'll gonna do something. We will. <laughs> my boy squad. We have been, we have been rehashing old times. Of when we used to get together at one of our other bandmates' house and practice on the driveway our choreo <laughs> yeah. for our performances. Yo, He's gonna crazy. show us a I'm picture. I'm gonna show you guys a picture of. What picture is this? Okay, you'll, you'll remember it once I show you. <laughs> Don't worry, Mikey, I got you. You ready? Ready? Yeah. Here's the reveal. Oh my god! <laughs> This is a pic at Pacific Mall. Yes. Oh you, you know how long they had it up? They oh. had it up for years. Did they? Yeah, they had it up for years. Oh my. We were like one of the poster childs for one of the photo places there. Really? <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, True dude. legacy. See? Oh my gosh. Okay, we're obviously touched up here. Yeah. But <laughs> Little there's <air> Tristan. Yeah. <laughs> there's Tristan. There's me. That's Teddy who I'm also trying to invite here. Yes. And that's uh, Tristan's brother, Jazz, who joined the band last. Late, later, yeah, yeah. Yeah, later. Oh, that's Throwback awesome. Time. That is a hardcore <laughs> photo. I cannot believe that. We look so, like, badass. Yeah, you look pretty badass. <laughs> you guys look so baby face. Yeah. <laughs> well, it was a little bit of airbrushing. Look how mean he looks, yo. Look how mean he looks. <laughs> look, look how hard I think I am. <laughs> that is so funny. Oh my gosh, okay, wait, guys. You ready? You ready for it? Oh <laughs> Look at this guy. Blue contacts and silver. Okay, I have this this silver hair. Guess how yeah, I did that? Yeah. Oh, oh, With oh. silver model paint. It was a paintbrush that 
for models, for like little micro models. Oh, crazy. And I colored my hair and it stayed there for four days. <laughs> Just enough time for our performance. Yeah, just for our performance. What was this for again? Um, was it a no. beauty pageant? I think it was a beauty pageant. A yeah, Filipino yeah, yeah. beauty pageant, guys, yeah. in Toronto. Yeah. <gasps> look at our outfits. Oh my gosh, Tristan, look at your jacket. Look, I'm bald. What? Look, I'm bald. I'm never bald. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. That is so funny. And that's funny. my sister, Shan. Oh, Shan, we miss you. <laughs> oh. Shout out, Shan. <laughs> Hi, Shan. We'll video call Shan them. and we'll Jazz are twins. Tomorrow. Oh, good. I can't wait. Yeah, we'll video call them tomorrow. <laughs> oh, man, that's crazy. Yeah. What a throwback. Crazy, eh? Wow. Oh, my goodness. We were... We were the Filipino NSYNC that should have been. Okay. <laughs> we didn't make it, but, but it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. We still felt like superstars. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Here's another picture. <gasps> okay, there's my brother. That's yeah, Joseph. Joe. This is Christine. Yeah. There's me with my orange hat. That's also Christine. No. Oh, wait. Nenners. Nen. Nen. Oh, my gosh. Why did I call her Christine? Yeah, Nen. That's you. And that's Jazz. Yes, and that's Mel. Mel. Uh, do you still talk to her? I haven't talked to her in a long time, but she's... Oh man, this is yeah. digging deep in the recesses of my no, mind. Don't worry, man. It's okay. It's okay. I'm here to challenge you. <laughs> Morning, my boy squad. How are you doing? Did you sleep well? I hope so. Just got back from the gym. And look, Christine and Tristan are hanging out by the pool. Hi, guys. Good morning. Did you guys sleep okay? Oh, good. That's the whole point. Are you going to swim now? <laughs> oh, don't wait for me. Go, go, go. All right, guys, we're going to give them the tour, the outside tour. Um, okay, so let's go this way first. Oh, okay, okay. I'll show you. Um, it's called the Pinoy Chalet. This is the pond. Lots of lots of guppies. Yeah, feel free to go down here. Where's the turtles? The turtles, like, disappear as soon as they hear us. Sometimes we'll find more water monitors in here. Where are they? Yeah, I don't see any turtles. They're, they're definitely in there. Yeah, lots of guppies. All right, going to show them the animals. This here is our farm lot. This is the aviary for, well, for the parrots. These are uh, crimson-bellied conures. Oh, so oh conures. Yeah. I was, we were looking into those. Oh, yeah? Oh, conures are so cute. Yeah, they make noise. I don't know if you're... You would have to ask your landlord or your building admin yeah. if they allow. Otherwise, um, what are they called? Cockatiels are good for apartments. They're following you. Hi hey guys. And they do this funny like nodding thing to greet. Hi hey guys. Billy. There's Billy. Hi Billy. And that's Eilish right there. Oh. <laughs> hey Billy. How you doing? This is our iguana pen. Feel free to go in. Tristan is a lizard guy. Yeah. I love that. It's amazing. Yeah, so feel free. This is the iguana pen. They're very friendly. Cool. Yeah, they're cool. This is Magnus right here. Hi, Magnus. That is Eve and that's Adam up there. There we go. Oh, awesome. Oh, you want more? more? He also loves banana. That's his favorite. Does he eat the whole thing? Uh, yeah, they'll eat the stem. And um, Kong Kong is really nutrient dense. It's one of, it's basically like <laughs> Philippines <laughs> kale. Oh, yeah. no way. Yeah, it's like our version of kale. So Chicken coop. Yeah. <laughs> this is the rooster. He's the man of the coop. And then and they... that's the girl? Yeah, that's a girl. These two chickens share par parental mother duties for this chick. Oh. They like even shared like the incubation oh, sitting, cool. the egg sitting. Yeah. <laughs> so we were the ones hearing you earlier. You got, you got, you oh got... yeah, they were loud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. No, no, it's okay. Chickens I'm used, are louder I'm than I thought. Like. When we were in Bacola, there's tons of like roosters there. Yeah, yeah, so sabong. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. it's relaxing now to me. Yeah, yeah. Guys, we spotted a black naped oriole right there. See that yellow? Oh, one of my favorite birds. Hey, that tree has like beautiful red blossoms. Yeah. So, Tris, your dad is from the group Hot Dog. Yeah. Very famous, Very famous. band. 70s, OPM. Wow. Um, that song Manila, you guys. Yes, know Manila. Yeah, yeah exactly. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Ramon wrote, Taraba. Wrote a really, uh, really famous ballad called First Lab. First Lab. Yeah. 
That's amazing. Yeah. Check it out if you haven't. I miss cool. Tito to Ra miss Tito Ramon. Yeah, so yeah, his dad is famous, guys. <laughs> Just a little bit. And he lives in Toronto now. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, we have purple. coconut. Yeah. Nature's Gatorade. I tried it for the first time. Buko juice? <laughs> oh yeah, it's the best. <laughs> yeah, can you see me now though? Hi Tito. <laughs> Hi, Tito Ramon. What the heck? Who's this guy? Hi. <laughs> Hi, Tita. Oh my God! Look at you. I miss you guys. How are you? I'm good. I miss you guys so much. Come over. Yeah, and you too. You guys need to come to Philippines. Yeah, you guys come here. Just come here, hang out with us, and we'll host you. Thank, it thank you, time. thank you. I really miss you guys. <laughs> we do too. You're here. Yeah. yeah, your fans miss you too. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> but we're taking good care of Tristan here. Yeah. <laughs> we're we're going to drink buko juice and then we're going to swim and then we're going to look at ants. Yeah, we're going to show them the ant room. <laughs> huh? Am I coming to Toronto? I hope so. I miss Toronto. Oh my God, I miss it. <laughs> we have a festival at Tarver Front. Oh, again? <gasps> yes, we moved there. Yeah. Oh, when? What month? July. July? July 26th oh. to the 28th. OMG, it's right Are in the summer. <laughs> hey, if I'm there, I mean, I would love. I would love. Yeah. Yeah. You're more than welcome. Good boy, oh Sykes. Oh my gosh, you're so cute. Yeah. And then, <laughs> this is the aviary. Feel free to come in. No, Sahara, not you. <laughs> you can hear the diamond doves. They're like pig pigeony coos. It's so nice in here. Yeah. And then those are, that's a canary, that yellow one up there with the funny hairstyle. Um, there's another canary. There are three canaries in here. Is that a dove? That's a type of canary. It's like a white canary. Water fountain with guppies inside. There are orchids of different kinds on the walls, vines. These vines I actually pulled out of a tree in the forest. Yeah, and strung them around. And they'll actually bloom during rainy season. Yeah, so this is the ant room. What is this? The pet room slash ant room. Yes. So these are our setups. This is the vivarium. Oh, all the chicken feet. Yeah, this, oh, is, <laughs> this is a fire ant. The fire ants, I don't know if you can see them guys. It's not feeding time, so they're mostly hiding. How are you? Oh, Cypher likes you. Oh, he's licking his lips. Like he loves that. <laughs> okay, crispy para. We've got chicken teriyaki. What is this? I think this is deep fried squid, pinak bet, and sinigang. Oh, the basics, guys. Yum. There's uh, RJ. Okay. They just met him. Yeah. We're gonna hang out today, right? Yeah. 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 So you didn't like the weather? It's too hot for her. <laughs> I, I love like it. Too hot? The funny thing is, I, too was, hot. I was the one born here. Yeah, exactly. Like dying. Yeah. Welcome, Nix. Hello. Guys, this is Nika. Hello. Hi, Nika. Hello. Did you bring the dogs? No. No. <gasps> oh. <laughs> okay, it's okay. Next. Ah, oh, okay. Where's Edmark? Let's go look for Edmark. Where is he? Hi, cuz. Welcome. This is Edmark Bustos. This is Tristan and Christine. Yeah, from Toronto. Oh, this is my Tita Karna. Have you met? Okay, yeah. This is Nika. This is Nika. Yeah. She watches the vlog. She knows you guys. All right, guys, it's pool time. Water is the warmest it's ever been. It's 29.5. And we're jamming to like 90s <laughs> R&B. All right, Tris, we brought out the stoli. I made it to the Cavite. Yeah. I made I'm, it to the Philippines. That's right. Yeah. Tris, it's like you are blast from my past. Like other than family, you yeah. are the furthest back. Yeah, 25 years. Man. Wow, that's crazy. Cheers, Cheers. welcome. Cheers. Thank you so much. Man. Yeah, my pleasure. Cheers. Congratulations on your engagement. Mm. Guys, I'm breaking my sobriety since October <laughs> for this special occasion. And surprisingly, he likes the same vodka I do. I love Stoli. Stoli is 
bomb. It's the bu the best, right? Not an ad. Not an ad. Not an ad. Yeah. <laughs> Hashtag not sponsored. Yeah. And we we're putting in mint from our herb garden. Yes. Yeah. All right. We're fancy today. That's <laughs> right. Cheers. Cheers, brother. Cheers. Guys, Christine just posted on social media about their engagement. Yeah. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy for you guys. I hope you guys get married here in the Philippines. Yeah. And then you have your honeymoon. Good. They're coming back, guys, next year. <laughs> guys, Alexa's playing the tunes of our high school youth. Oh, there's some lemons. I think they've, they're busting up the tequila. Tris, I've been meaning to say, I did not enjoy my high school years, but you guys made it so much more bearable for me. Hey. And like music, it was yeah, all about was, music. Honestly, wherever we were, we would jam hallways, bathrooms. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Talent shows, do we would perform everywhere we could. Yeah, yeah. Best times, yeah. Thank you. And hey, thank you too. <laughs> oh, I'm getting emotional because of this. And of course, a party ain't a party without a mare la cucina pizza. Pinoy boy. Yes, that's right. Pinoy boy. <laughs> Guys, mm, it smells so good. A mare la cucina. All of you in the Philippines know this. It's the best pizza in the Philippines. And look, mm, it smells so good. <gasps> and our cousins, Nika and Edmark, own it. Yeah. I'm so proud of you guys. How many locations now? 16. 16 locations. So if you're from the Philippines and you've wanted to franchise a restaurant, I highly recommend Amare La Cucina Pizza. And it's honey. Honey oh, it's called crazy honey. Yes. yes, it's spicy honey. You must dip that in that. Okay. And you are a pizza fanatic, right? I am. Yeah. So he knows good pizza. I know good pizza. All right. Let's see. Let's see the pressure. That's perfect with uh, red horse beer. All right. Oh, ready? Yeah. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Is oh. it okay? What do you mean? Okay, it's amazing, man. Awesome, sweet. Yeah. I mean, everyone who's tasted a mare pizza, they're blown away by it. It's just so good. That's my guess pizza. It's brick oven and high quality flour, oh, yeah. like tomato sauce. The honey, right? It makes a difference. And you must have it with the spicy honey, guys. Do you like it? That's great. Yay! It's so good. Yep. Okay, wait, try it with the honey. I'm not a pizza fanatic. Awesome. Mm. Yeah. Oh my god, that honey. <laughs> it's the honey. Oh. Right? Oh my That's called god. that is called crazy honey. So no one in Canada serves it with honey. I know. It was a creative choice by Edmark. Yeah. Wow. And they actually, you actually sell the honey yeah. at your location. Don't worry, right? I'll give you some. Oh, okay. Yes, you can take it home. Really? Guys, if you're oh, ever in Manila, uh, I highly recommend well, Amare La Cucina your, Pizza. Uh, Follow them yeah. on social media, Bacati. guys. My boy Scott, we're gonna try to do it. Now, just remember, we're missing two other members. Yeah. But we'll try our and best. And it's, it's been like 23 years. So. <laughs> okay. Ready? Yeah. This one's by Boys to Men. It's called. Hard to say goodbye? Yeah. yeah, okay. How do I say goodbye to what we had? The good times that made us laugh our way in To see tomorrow, I hope it's worth all the way. It's so hard to say goodbye to yesterday. I got the lyrics wrong, but there we go. Hey, let's go. <laughs> now I toss and turn, cause I'm around you. How I feel so bad. Where was my head 
Where was my heart? Now I cry Alone in the dark I lie awake I drive myself crazy Drive myself crazy Thinking of you Made a mistake And I let you go, baby I drive myself crazy How much I love you, baby. What did I show it when I had the chance? Oh, I had the chance. I lie awake and I drive myself crazy. Drive myself crazy. Thinking of you Made a mistake And I let you go, baby Drive myself crazy Wanting you the way that I do Wanting you the way that I do Wanting you the way that I do Yeah! <laughs> That's a throwback. Baby. Yeah. Let's go. Now we, we need missing, one more song. We were missing two <laughs> other parts. And Mark, go. Go. Oh, at the boy. part. Whoa! <laughs> I lie awake. I drive myself crazy. I drive myself crazy. <laughs> thinking of you. <laughs> Guys, we're going to do a Back to Your Boy song now. It's called Back to You. No, Back to Your Heart. And you probably don't know it. Yeah. Underrated. Underrated. It was one of their best singles on their album yeah in our opinion, in our opinion. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. it's a ballad and it was written by Brian Littrell yeah yeah all right all right let's go it's not that I can't live without you it's just that I don't even want to try every night I dream about you Ever since the day we said goodbye If I wasn't such a fool Right now I'd be holding you It's nothing that I wouldn't do Baby, if I only knew The words to say The road to take to find a way back to your heart What can I do to get to you And find a way back to your heart Yeah! yeah. Oh my gosh! It's been 23 years! <laughs> okay guys, we have some shout outs to do Who are the shout outs for? Shout out to Kirill and Bernard from Mindanao. Yeah. Who they met on a tour in? in El Nido. El Nido. Yeah. Hi, Hi, Kareel and Bernard. <laughs> and also a shout out to Amelia and Charlotte in Ajax. Yeah, Lori, this one's for you. Yes, hi Lori <laughs> and <laughs> Amelia and, and Charlotte. Shout and out Mark. Mark. Yo. Hi guys, come visit us in the Philippines. Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> All right guys, so we're just gonna continue hanging out. OMG. Um, thank you so much for watching joining us on this adventure Tristan and Christine Yo. thank you so much thank you so much thank guys you. we are like so happy for you guys on this thank new you. journey Definitely. although guys they've been together for how many years like almost ten years. almost ten they've been together for ten yeah. years and finally <laughs> engaged yeah it took long enough so <laughs> congratulations thank you guys. thank, thank you. you so much and, and welcome to the Philippines thank you um, and guys thank you for joining us on this adventure if you enjoyed this vlog, be sure to hit the like button as it really helps us a lot. Let's YouTube know that our vlogs are worth sharing to new audiences. Sharing to new audiences. Guys, I'm a little buzzed. I've missed this feeling. And if you haven't yet, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Come join our Mabuhay squad because we will be your regular dose of positive vibes online. Love you so much, guys. Bye. See you in the next vlog.